guys today I'm going to be doing this fun purple smoky eye look for you I was in reading this health magazine the health magazine for um uh, September and in this it was talking about your perfect fall makeup colors and it's saying right here that like violet eyes are perfect and it's talking about um, like what shades of them are best and everything so I decided why what better time to do a purple smoky eye I hardly ever wear purple I really love it I totally forgot about how great it looks on all different eye shades so yeah I put together this little look for you guys it's definitely probably something you'll want to wear um, more towards nighttime I mean you could probably try during the day you might just want to use lighter purples um, so yeah, that this is the look. If you guys want to see how I got it, please keep watching. I'm actually going to start off um, just priming my lid with something. You guys can use just a regular paint pot or concealer if you want for this, but I'm actually going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in white. Um, even if you guys have any sort of white base, that would be great for this. This is just going to help the color, the purple color stand out. So just get that all over your eyelid. Just gently get it on there. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to rub it out. Okay, so just blend it in like that. We're going to take um, just a flat shader brush, and I'm using the Coastal Scents 88 color palette, but you guys can use any colors um, relative to this. And the first color I'm starting off with, it's not a lilac purple. It's not a bright purple either. It's just a very, like, I don't know, like purpley, light purple without being pastel. It's right there. Um, so we're going to start off using that one. Apply it on the outer two-thirds of the eye. So you want to leave the inner um, third nice and light. And just put that all over your eye. Then for, this is going to be so simple you guys. For the outer corner I'm just going to use a little bit more of like a grape purple because I, I like the like the brighter purple with the grape purple. That way it's not like completely like, I just like the contrast of the like grape purple with like the brighter purple together. So for that I'm using this one right here. It's the second one up. And this one's got, um, this is on the like what, the uh, fourth one over second one up and the 88 color palette. And that one's got a little bit of shimmer in it and I'm using just this um, like a dome brush for it. And I'm just tapping a little bit on the very end of it like that. And we're just going to take it and we're almost going to just cut, hold your fingers way far down on the brush because that's going to give it less control which is going to make it um, look the way we want. And I'm just going to lightly draw in like a V and then start doing little circles and kind of go up just so we can like start to lightly put the color on without it getting too crazy. Now what I like to do is I like to take a concealer and just really clean up this line. And I, I like to do that as opposed to putting a piece of tape on there just because it's easy. I'm just going to use my Laura Mercier palette and mix the two together. And um, you just kind of go like that and it kind of just sweeps the color away. It cleans up the line nicely um, without messing up your work. You guys can kind of see that there. Just gives it like a crisper look, especially because I'm going to be putting a little bit more color underneath my eye. I just want to clean it up for now. Okay. Now, um, in the inner corner, I'm going to put, I'm just going to just use any brush, I'm just going to use this little eyeshadow brush. And I'm just using a pale white that's in my palette. You guys can use shimmer if you want for this. I didn't want like a really shimmery look, so I'm not using a shimmer on this. But I'm just going to put a little bit on here and just dab it into the inner corner area here. And then just put a little bit underneath my brow, my brow bone here has a nice blended look this way. And if you guys are putting white underneath your eyebrow, it's really going to make your eyes pop open, especially if you're wearing dark colors like this on your eye. You want to make sure that, you know, they look a lot brighter. So that's good for that. Now for the bottom of our eye, we're going to go back into our um, milk, the pencil we used earlier. Just put a tiny bit on there and just rub it in with your finger. Use your ring finger. And then just grab a pencil brush, I'm using this one right here, and we're going to go back in with that first purple we used on our eye, and we're just going to smudge that into the bottom lash line. And you want to go almost all the way in. Just like that. Now I'm going back in with my other brush that I use, and I'm just kind of blending in. You guys see where that was like overlapping? 
just kind of blend that in so it doesn't stand out as much. We're going to be putting eyeliner over it. So we're just going to do an eyeliner. You guys can use whatever color you want for this. I actually really love a navy blue liner with purple eyes. I think it looks gorgeous. I don't have any on hand. I really wish I did so I could show you guys what that looked like. But I'm going to use, um, rather than black, I'm going to use some plum eyeliner. And I was thinking, okay, maybe this won't look great. Maybe it will blend in. But it looks kind of like black, only a little bit softer. I'm just using my Wet n Wild, their cream, um gel liner and I'm just using an angled brush for this. Use whatever kind of brush you guys would like. If you want to use liquid liner, you use liquid liner. If you're more comfortable with pencil, use pencil. It's whatever you want to do for this and whatever color you want. I really suggest you guys, if you guys have a dark navy blue, use that. It looks gorgeous with purple. And we're just going to put this on our eye, obviously. I always wing my liner out a little bit. You guys don't have to. And then I'm just going to put a little bit on my bottom lash line as well. And I'm just going to smudge it in to the lashes. And that's it for the eyeliner. Okay, finally, I'm going to just apply my mascara. I'm using Maybelline Falsies. I'm going to apply this really quick and I'll be right back. So that is it for the eyes. You guys can see what they look like. It's just a really pretty, kind of like bright purple with like a plummy grape color in the outer corner so I think that looks really nice. I already have on my foundation and concealer so I'm just going to put on some bronzer now. The one I'm using is the Laura Geller um, blush in, uh, la, 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 in Honey Dipped. It looks like this. It looks a lot like an MSF. I think it's really pretty. And just take any sort of brush you want to use for that. I'm just using this big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to, you know, put it where I would normally put my blush. And with this, I'm, I'm using shimmer on my face because I didn't use any on my eye. Um, and because I haven't used this one in a while. So, you guys, whatever bronzer you guys like. Then for blush, I'm using the NYX blush in the color Pinched. It's a really gorgeous, like, corally pinky color with a little bit of shimmer in it. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm, only it's a little pinker. So I'm just going to apply that here with my MAC um, 168. Okay, then finally for lips, I want to keep it a little bit neutral, um, so I'm going to start off, I'm actually going to use a lip liner. I'm using the NYX lip liner in the color Nude Pink. It's just a nude pink color. I'm just kind of like smudging that on just to kind of help you know, give it a little bit of color. And then for lipstick, I'm using Creme de Nude, which is my favorite nude ever. I'm sorry if you guys can hear a lot more, by the way. The guy is just really annoying me. He just decided just now, at the end of the day, to mow our backyard. Whatever. Okay, so you guys have an option to leave it like this if you want to. Or you can put a gloss over it. I'm going to put a gloss over it and I'm going to use NYX Sugar Pie, which is just like a nude with a little bit of a pinky tone into it. Just a tiny little bit to give it a little bit of a pink color. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys all enjoy this look. Um, I think it'll be really great for fall. Um, even though you think of fall, you think of darker colors, I think it's really going to be nice to use this pop of color for fall. Plus, I've seen it in magazines, so I know it's supposed to be a trend for the fall um, as it is. So I hope you all enjoyed this look. Um, I did want to tell all of you guys, I do have a Facebook fan page I started, um, just so you guys can, I can post my videos and you know I, when I have one up. Um, and then you guys can keep in contact with me a little bit better that way. You will know when I'm having computer issues or anything like that since it keeps to con seems to constantly be happening to me. So if you guys want to uh, try to put a link like right here of 
my Facebook link. Otherwise, if you want to just go to your Facebook, search for the Mer 532. Um, I should come up and you guys can like my page that way. So that's it for right now. I will definitely keep posted, you guys. I'm going to have some giveaway videos coming up. Um, I have Mac giveaway coming up because my one year on YouTube is coming up. It's actually in October. So I'll be posting before then because I want to give it a, um, do the giveaway on my actual one year for YouTube. So that is all. I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will see you all very soon.